So, sir, yeah. I was going through my textbook, yeah. and there's something cool that popped up that I wanted to ask. So, how do we uh, do long division for polynomials? Long division for polynomials? Let's yes. do it, right? Yeah. So, let's begin with simple division. Yeah. And then we'll define all the terms and get back to long division. Right? Yeah. That's the symbol of uh, division, division, as you know. Yeah. And normally, what we do is, let's take a simple example. Let's say we divide 7 by 5. Right? Yeah. So what do you do? Seven goes one time. Five goes one times in seven. seven. Yeah. And what you get here remainder is, is two. remainder of two. Yeah. So five times one is five. five. Remainder is two. Yeah. So that's your normal division. Right? right. Let us define some terms here. Okay. It becomes easier to communicate. Right. Right. Terms, right. So as you know, this is called remainder. Right. right. So this is remainder. What is this called? That number one on top? It will be a quotient. Quotient. So it's a quotient. Normally it is a part of your answer also, right? right? And how about this five? This will be your divisor. Divisor. And how about this number seven? The one that's being divided is the dividend. Dividend. Basically, when you divide, you divide the dividend by the divisor, you get the quotient and remainder right. as a result. Right. right. That's what it is. Now, do you know how to write a division statement? For this, how will you write a division statement? So, we could say 7 yeah. divided by yeah. 5 yeah. equals to what? Equals to, so if you wanted to write the response, yeah. so you would say 1. Yeah. Two. One remainder two. So what we do also is we we write like this. So you are saying seven, which is basically the dividend, yeah. divided by five that, yeah. is equal to the quotient one plus when you write remainder, that remainder should be further divided by the dividend. Divisor, right? So yeah. we write two over five. Yeah. So that becomes your division statement. Okay. Right? Yeah, that makes so sense. we could also write this in a different form. So let me erase this uh, and then write it in a different form and show you how else we can write this division as a multiplication statement. Since you know multiplication and division go hand in hand. Hand in hand. Right? right. Yes. So you could also say that 7 is equal to 5 times 1 plus 2, right? Yeah. So 7 is 5 times 1 plus, plus 2. two. 5 times 1 plus 2 is 7. Yeah, Perfect. that makes sense. So that is what. So basically, the dividend or the number you are interested in dividing is equal to product of divisor, divisor quotient, quotient, plus remainder, remainder. The sum with remainder. Right. You get it? Yes, I get it. So we'll just move forward with this okay. concept and see how to divide polynomials. Right? So when you divide polynomials, yeah. do they work the same way? Almost, almost, right? So, yeah. so let's take up an example. Sure. We'll take up a simple example uh, and then see how to divide polynomials, polynomials, right? Yes. And then once you divide, you should always write a division statement. Same right? as well. So, yes. so let's see. So polynomial means a lot of terms, right? Correct. So I'm making a symbol here for division. You may not see it so well in the screen, but yeah. well, when I put numbers, they'll okay. be clear. So let's say we have a cubic. Let's say, let's say 2x cubed cube. yeah. minus 3x squared yes. plus, let us say, x yeah. minus 5. Correct. Let's say that's a polynomial okay. of degree 5, yes. which has got 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Okay. And we are going to divide this by, let us say, x minus 2. x minus 2. All right. Okay. Let's see how to do it. So first thing is, we have to take care of the leading, leading coefficient, coefficient, right? Here, the leading coefficient is 2, two. and here it is 1, so we have to multiply by 2, two. of course, yes. right? Now, x cubed is the degree. Yeah. Here, the degree is 1. Difference is 
two, right? two three right. minus one two. two so we have to multiply by x square, square. to get two x cubed. cubed now since there are two terms we have to involve two terms okay okay all right so we'll involve these two terms all right right and so as we discussed we should multiply by two, two x, x squared. squared so that becomes part of our answer right? yes quotient yes now multiply this quotient with the divisor x minus 2 using your distributive problem right. right so what do you get so you'd get 2x squared 2x cubed here 2x squared times x will give me 2x cubed so they can cancel out right. yeah and minus uh, 2 times 2 is 4 4, four x, x squared, squared right so that's the first step now, now you have to subtract as we do in division. Right. When you subtract, this will be zero. That sign changes to plus four. Yes. So minus three plus four is plus one. One. So we get x squared here, right? Right. X squared. Now bring down the next term, which is plus x. So I'm writing plus x. Yes. Is that clear? Yes, that's clear. Now what should get here? So you. It is x minus two divides into x squared plus x. You would have to multiply this by x. Perfect. Yes. So x goes into the quotient. Yes, that's when right. When you multiply, you get x squared minus 2x. Two 2x. Two X. And when you take away, what do you get? So here it's 0. Yeah. This would be changed to plus. Yeah. So that would be 3. So it is 3x. Three 3x. X. Now bring down the next term, which, which is, is minus, minus five. 5. So what should go there? It would be 3. Just the number 3, Just right? Number three. So we get plus 3 here. So when you multiply by 3, you get we get 3x minus 6. Minus 6. And the remainder will be? So it would be minus 5 plus, plus 6. 1. 1. 1 would be your remainder. Correct? Yes. So that is what? So we get remainder 1. Yes. So that is how we do long division. So in this, this case, yeah. this would be your divisor, yeah. x minus 2. This term would be our dividend. dividend. This would be our quotient. And this is remainder. remainder. One. Perfect. So can we make a, a division statement? Sure. So let's make a division statement. Okay. So let me make a room in between. We don't really need this one, right? Right. <laughs> We've already we, done it before. We have done it, right? What so we need is this. Yeah. This and so that. So let me write the division statement right in the center. Okay. So we could write this function, which is 2x uh, x cubed, cubed minus 3x three three squared plus x minus 5, five is equal, equal to, to what? minus 2 x minus 2 times times 2x squared 2x squared plus x plus x plus 3 plus 3 plus plus the remainder 1 1 so that is the division statement for this yeah, particular in the multiplication division. form okay perfect that's how you divide and this is what we call long, long division. division for polynomials that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you got it? I got it. So we'll do some practice questions when we go back to class and I'll post some for you. Right? Okay, yeah. And there is something very much related with long division. We call it synthetic division. Okay. So let's take that as the next talk. Okay. Is it okay? That's fine. So we'll do a similar example using synthetic, synthetic division. division. Okay. That's a shortcut and you will really love it. Okay. Right. So yes. I hope that is clear. That's clear to me. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Anytime. Yeah. Take care, okay. sir. Okay, bye.